YouTube, doing my hair, down to the last curl former. And guess what? Chunk of hair left. So, there are several options. Yes, I'm back to using a comb. But kind of have to for this particular thing I'm about to do. Got vinegar water here because every now and then, you know, if you overdose the aloe vera, you want to balance with vinegar. And I have a section this big and one curl former. Obviously, all this hair is not going to fit in one curl former. So what to do, what to do, what to do. Well, I'm going to twist it. But instead of twisting it this way and down, I'm going to twist it this way and up. And then I'm going to anchor it into the last curl former. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm twisting it up is that way when the hair comes out, it will match the pattern of the rest of the hair. Plus, it'll give the front part a little stretch going backwards. So that way, it will not hang in my face, which it sometimes tends to do. Now, instead of twisting it all the way through, once I reach the end of the hair, I'm just going to hold it right there. And I'm going to grab the hook that has the curl former attached. Get it on there. Push the curl former down. Now, mind you, because this is a thicker section of hair, it's going to be hard to pull through. But I'm going to give it the old college try. Ouch! <laughs> okay. Ta-da! And it's on there. So, this, well, hold on, let's see if I get close enough where you can see. So, this section all the way over got twisted. This part is in keeping with the rest. I'm going to loosen it just a bit. That way it can hang natural like. And then I'm going to take my little eye cord thingy up. And if you hold on a second, you'll see something interesting develop. Ta da! That's kind of how the finished hairstyle is going to hang. Now, what I'm going to do with this section when it comes out, I think I'm probably going to leave the twist in. And that way the hair will literally fall like this. And if you haven't noticed by now, curl formers dry. Well, they hang the way they dry, so if you want your hair out your face, always aim back a little bit on the hairline, so that way you have the hair going back. And then tuck the ones in the front that are trying to flop on your face under one, so that way when it dries, see how it's going under? It'll dry like that instead of drying like this. So that's basically what the finished look is going to look like, except for, you know, flatter and curlier and I will be back later with you know before and after type pics on my blog because that way you can see this and what it ended up being but that will be tomorrow of course because I have to let all of this dry so yeah stay blessed this is P.